only after that can they support themselves. It is said, by the power of the Buddha, beings in the three bad destinies and the eight difficult conditions, all obtain deliverance. Are reborn among gods or humans, and go to the Buddha. It may be so for the gods but it is impossible for humans. Indeed, how could they walk? As soon as they are born. Answer. In the five destinies, living conditions differ. 1. Gods and hell beings are all apparitional beings. 2. Pritas are of two kinds, born from a placenta or apparitional. 3. Men and animals are of four kinds. Born from an egg, born from exudation, apparitional or born from a placenta. A. Born from an egg, E. G. The 32 sons of Pi Cho Kiame Kie Lo Mao. Vizaka, their mother, gave birth to 32 eggs which on breaking open, released 32 boys who all were strong men. The oldest of them was Magra. Vizaka obtained the fruit of the threefold path. B. Born of exudation, for example, Yen Lo Pio Li Amrapali. Chief courtesan who gave birth to a Kakravardhan king, etc. C. Apparitional beings. Thus, when the Buddha was traveling with the four assemblies, in the group of nuns there was a Bhiksunai named Alopio, a Ramavesa, who appeared miraculously on this earth. Moreover, the people born at the beginning of the cosmic Piyad were all apparitional beings. D. Born from a placenta. This is the usual birth for humans. B. People of apparitional birth, being full-grown at birth, are able to go to the Buddha. There are people who have obtained the Abhijnas as reward and who are able to go to the Buddha by themselves. Others also are able to go to the Buddha because the latter lends them his power of Abhijna. Sutra In the universes of the Ten Directions, universes as numerous as the sands of the Ganges, the earth shook similarly in six ways. The damned, the Pritas, the animals and the other inhabitants of the eight difficult conditions were at once liberated and reborn among the gods of the six classes. Sastra Question Beings, infinite and innumerable, form a considerable number just in the Trisahasra Mahasahasra Lokadetu. Why does the Buddha also address himself to beings in the universes as numerous as the sands of the Ganges? Answer The power of T.E. Buddha is immense. It is a trifle for him to save the beings of the Trisahasra Mahasahasra Lokadetu. This is why he addresses himself also to the beings of the Ten Directions. Question If, by his great power, the Buddha Sakyamuni saves the Ten Directions as a whole, why are other Buddhas still needed to save beings? Answer Minus 1 because beings are infinite in number and do not all ripen at the same time. 2. Furthermore, causes and conditions vary for each being. Thus it is said in the system of the Sravakas. In the Cho Li Fu Yen Yuan, Sariputravadana. Disciples become separated from Sariputra. If the Buddhas cannot save them, how could others do so? 3. Furthermore, here it is a matter only of universes of the East equal in number to the sands of a single Ganges. We are not speaking of universes as numerous as the sands of two, three, four, up to a thousand Prabhede Kodi of Ganges. 4. Finally, universes are infinite and unlimited in number. If they were finite and limited, the number of beings would be exhausted. This is why the Buddhas must save the innumerable universes of the ten directions. Sutra. Then. Amongst the beings of the Trisahasra Mahasahasra Lokadathu. Those who were blind from birth were able to see. The deaf began to hear. The mute began to speak, the insane became rational, the distracted recovered their attentiveness, those who were naked received clothing, those who were hungry and thirsty had their bowls. Filled, the sick recovered their health, the crippled regained their wholeness. Sastra. Beings are subject to hundreds of thousands of sufferings. If the Buddha uses miraculous power, why does he not liberate them from all of these sufferings? Answer. 
All sufferings are suppressed, but here only the most serious ones are spoken of in brief. Similarly, in order to designate all the fetters, they are spoken of, as a whole, as the three poisons. I. Question. It would suffice to say that the blind obtained their sight. Why specify those blind from birth? Answer. Because in their previous existences, those born blind were great sinners. If great sinners can thus recover their sight, what about minor sinners? Question. What grave sin have they committed in their previous lives in order to be blind from birth today? Answer. They have gouged out or torn out someone's eyes, or destroyed someone's correct view by saying that sin and merit do not exist. After death, these people fall into hell, then. Being reborn. In the form of humans, their sins make them blind from birth. Moreover. Stealing lights or lamps from a stupa of the Buddha, Arhat Arhat, or Pratyeka Buddha, ruining the lamps in other fields of merit are also actions of previous lives that cause the loss of sight. In the course of a future lifetime. But one may lose one's sight during the present lifetime as a result of sickness or because of being beaten. Those are actual causes. Only the Buddha is able to restore sight to the 96 eye sicknesses that King Cho Na Kyalo, Jnanakara could not cure. First he gives them back their sight, then he makes them find the wisdom eye. It is the same for the deaf who recover their hearing. 2. Question. If there are those who are blind from birth, why does the sutra not speak of those who are deaf from birth? Answer. Because those who are blind from birth are more numerous than those who are deaf from birth. Question. What are the causes of deafness? Answer. Minus 1. Deafness has. The actions. Of the previous life as cause. To reject or transgress the instructions of one's teacher or one's father and to rebel against them is a sin which will result in deafness. To cut off or tear out someone's ear, to ruin a gong, a bell, a kunk or a drum of a stupa of the Buddha of the Sangha of good men or of any field of merit. Are also sins which in turn lead to deafness. These various actions of a previous lifetime are the causes of deafness in a future lifetime. 2. In the present lifetime, one can lose one's hearing as a result of sickness, or being beaten, and other similar things. Those are the actual causes. 3. Question. The mute cannot speak. What sins have they committed in order to be mute? Answer. Minus 1. They have cut out someone's tongue or choked someone. They have made someone unable to speak by means of an evil herb. Hearing the instructions of their teacher or the orders of their father, they have cut off their speech and not followed their advice. Acting in bad ways, they did not believe in sin or merit and opposed correct speech. Condemned to hell, when they are reborn in.